Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you uh, a future and a hope and an expected end. God has plans about your work. He has plans about your employment, about your peace of mind. He has plans about your future spouse, your children, and he has plans about your health. And that is why we are here today once again with Dr. G and he is teaching us and he is enlightening us, encouraging us. He's equipping us. He's em empowering us to do more about the systems, the pathways in our body, the cells, how they can be regenerated, restored, resurrected, how we play a part in that. And then there are supplements that help us as well. I love that God gives us help in this day and age, especially when we need help because there's so much we're counteracting in this day and age that they were not experiencing 100 years ago. And so with that being said, Dr. Neil Goodman, thank you nice for being you. Thank here. You for having me. Thank you for your book. Thank you for the adversity that you have overcome in the last three years. Thank you for biohackersusa.com. You give so much away. You give so much of your experience and your knowledge away on your website. Uh, there are some things to purchase your book, which is empowering. And, you know, books are amazing. Leaders are readers and readers are leaders. But you, you give away um, stories and, 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 and thank, you, thank you for that. You, and and you, supplements are on there for those who are interested. We are by no means saying go buy the supplements. We're saying if you feel like the Holy Spirit is saying, hey, get on this journey, they're there. And um, so I, ju I just wanted to thank you oh, for doing so programs welcome. like this. Yeah, I, you know, I just love giving the message of hope. Yeah. I see so many people on a daily basis that are hopeless yes. and have been devastated by the recent turn of events over the past few years. It has taken a toll on my personal life as well. And yet uh, the message was from God who messaged me through a TV show, much similar to yeah. the way that you received the message, yes. uh, that I had a purpose yes. and that I had a role to play. And part of it was to I think to expose people to the fact that there are answers to some of these problems that don't always exist through traditional routes. That's right. And we need to sometimes think outside of the box. Right. And we don't know these things until we're in situations. And so thank you for helping us, for teaching us, for coming alongside of us, because you don't appreciate your health until you lose your health or until you have a health challenge, and then all of a sudden it becomes important, and yet you are doing a clarion call, and you are shouting with a megaphone, these things can be prevented. They can be prevented, because what we don't want is to have to be uh, in a situation where medicine is being practiced on us. It's much, it's much a much better choice right. to do prevention and do everything within our power to do uh, that, you know, with God-given resources and, and tools. Correct. Um, you know, uh, doctors and physicians have always had their purpose and always, and, and I would never ever say, don't listen to your physician. The, the point is, do you trust your doctor? Do you have a relationship with him and or her? And are they doing their best to help you on your health journey for the things that you want? Because you have a say so. Yes. And you have the ability to say no. Yes. And you have the ability to say, I don't think so, or to question it. That's right. And if you don't do the research, you'll never know. You're right. So having the knowledge is huge. Yes. It's huge. Well, I want you to pray before we start, uh, you know, kind of part two, day two of this show today. We're going to be talking about collagen, which is something trending right mm -hmm. now. And um, so let's just pray for those that we want them to have an open heart and, and to receive what the Lord wants to say to them today through this program. Uh, Father, I ask that you bless our audience today and allow their minds to be open to the possibility of healing, to their minds, that their minds be open to the learning of new words, new vocabulary, things that might have previously made them afraid or scared them because it sounded too technical or outside of their ability to comprehend. And I ask that you allow them in their heart and in their mind to be receptive to this information, that they could use their natural discernment and wisdom and, and guidance that you've given them to make good decisions so that they can make choices in their lives as to how to restore their health 
to that which you wanted it to be. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus is so good. Isn't he so good to He's us? He's the healer. He's the ultimate healer. <laughs> he is. He is. He is. Okay, so today we're going to talk about collagen. And I know I have uh, lots of members on my team and guests are like, oh, yes. The reason why is because collagen is this trendy thing in the last, you know, five, ten yeah. years. And uh, people are buying it for their nail and for their hair and for their skin and for to look young. And, and so, but they really don't understand it's not just external. And I love how you say it. You say collagen is the glue mm -hmm. that helps everything stick together. Yeah, so collagen is a protein. And we, you know, our body is largely protein and water and some other things and minerals. Uh, but collagen is literally the glue that holds the cells together. And it provides the structure, the internal scaffolding inside each cell that allows it to um, hold all that it does, those mitochondria that we talked yes. about a couple uh, shows ago, yes. right? All those things, the nucleus, your DNA are all in the cell, but where do they fit? If the cell has collapsed upon itself and is shrunken and is withered, then it may be devoid or not have enough collagen. And the collagen helps to plump it up, hold the water, maintain flexibility in the cells, and then so the cells then can function and do their job. But since all cells contain collagen, what kind of cells might be affected by that collagen that's in them? Well, essentially everything. everything. Your brain cells have collagen in them. Yeah. Your bone cells and your discs in your back have collagen in them. It's not just your nails, it's right. not just your skin. That's the external stuff. But it's also happening inside your body, your blood vessels, your gut, your lining of your gut is lined with cells that need to have collagen in order to be, uh, have good integrity. So what happens if your gut cells don't have integrity? If the gut cells start to break down and crack, which is often referred to as leaky gut, uh, right? You've heard that. They're frail, right? It becomes frail, and it develops little micro cracks that allow the bacteria that are inside the, inside the intestine that don't belong in your bloodstream right? to suddenly leak through. Well, if your body sees that, don't you think that your body would go into a huge state of inflammation? Right and it would attempt to attack it, and you become sick. Yeah. And it might manifest itself as, say, ulcerative colitis, or a diarrhea, or some other intestinal problem. And then you don't feel hungry, then you lose weight, or maybe you become diabetic. All of these things are felt to be due to large levels of inflammation. Right. And inflammation, as you recall, was the central cog of what our whole discussion was yeah. a few shows ago. So leaky gut, I hear that a lot. And I, I also have come to understand that your gut is like your second brain. And so okay. if, you are break, if your gut's not healthy, then the rest of you isn't healthy. And it sounds like collagen has so much to do with keeping all those yeah. cells happy and chubby and malleable and pliable Correct. and so that their, the intruders can be held off. Right. So it's just another cog in the many cogs of a wheel, right? We've talked about NRF2 signaling. Yes. We've talked about NRF1 signaling, which is mitochondria. NRF2 is about oxidative stress. We talked about NAD, which has to do with longevity and cell uh, and, and toxic uh, burden removal, senescent and zombie cells. Yes. We talked about that. Collagen is the glue that keeps all the cells together and lets them do their work. So if we don't have enough collagen, you know, by the time we're 20, we start to have a collagen decline. It's that's, as early as 20. You that's start unbelievable. To yeah. But by 30, it really starts to decline greatly, and we need to start replacing it. So the question becomes, how do I do that? Right. And so the market, of course, will always come to the task, yeah. and it'll put collagen out there. And there's lots of collagen things. So people are replacing collagen, and it's the buzzword. But how do we know if it's effective? Yeah, so you got to look at the collagen, and, and the collagens may have different attributes. Has anyone ever, have you stirred collagen into a coffee, cup of coffee before? Uh, well, I've gotten powdered 
collagens and they don't work unless you get a shaker or a blender yeah, or something they, that just mm, they don't dissolve very well no, do they? right no. they're clumpy and so forth. Right. so if they're powdery and they taste nasty and they clump together in your mouth and, you don't and they it. stick to the sides of the cup you're not going to want to drink it it's not right. attractive and it doesn't right. taste good right right so really the ideal collagen is one that has already been liquefied okay not a powder but a liquid collagen right. If you can drink it and it can go directly in you, that's the best thing. Now remember, collagen is a protein. So proteins, generally speaking, are sort of sticky yes. in their own nature, right? So we want them hydrolyzed. Hydrolyzed meaning cut with acid to cut them into small pieces where they could be easily absorbed. That's what we do when we eat a steak. When you eat a steak, and cut the pieces, you have to chew on it, and then it goes in your stomach, and it's hydrolyzed by the acid there, and it's broken down into the smallest little amino acids, right? And you absorb those amino acids, and then your body reassembles it back into protein, of which one of those is collagen. Wow. But that takes a lot of work. A lot of work. And not all of it will become collagen. Some of it will never make it there. Some of it will be excreted, some will be used for something else. Right. So the whole idea of doing collagen is you want hydrolyzed collagen peptides, which are m not quite as big as a protein, but almost down to the size of those little amino acids. That allows it to get absorbed, but it can be assembled very quickly, like taking big Lego pieces and hooking them together rather than having lots of pieces of sandy plastic. Right. That's the idea. So like this we have a, a sample this is just a liquid collagen it's something you could just take a shot of and it, it has gone through all of the criteria that you said is most effective for our right. body in breaking it down and right. using it because one thing we don't want to do with supplements is take something and think we're doing our body good and yet our body can't metabolize it it, it doesn't right. go where it's supposed to go and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do and so now it's a right. waste of money waste of time and we still feel the same, Correct. if not worse. Right. We want it to be bioavailable. I like so when that. something's bioavailable, it is available immediately to the biology so that you can utilize and get the maximum benefit from that. So quick digestion, balance, doesn't gunk up the system, and you can utilize it readily. And this goes right in through your stomach, literally where your intestine, and is made immediately available to your bloodstream, and you can assemble it again. But this is an interesting collagen, and I put this on my website, which is biohackerusa.com. That's where you can read about it. That's where you can learn about it. I, I like this particular one, and there are many that are out there, yeah. but this is the best in my mind. Uh, they also add some um, botanical extracts that actually do what I like to do when I talk about gene signaling. Yes. You call, I've always talked about how can we make the body make stuff? Right. Rather than take stuff, let's make stuff. Like trigger it, like yeah. the doorbell. Yeah, the right? doorbell. So we can signal the collagen gene too. Because it's, it's all built in there. God's it's, so perfect. It's in the DNA. It's in your coding. You have a collagen gene that makes collagen all day long. But again, after age 30, it declines because it's weak, because it's been hurt by this thing that I keep talking about, which is oxidative stress. Yeah. So if you can now turn on the doorbell of the collagen gene and then supply the resources for the collagen gene to use to make collagen, you've just multiplied that by a major factor. Now there's one other component to this, and that is you can also talk to the gene that breaks collagen down. We have a collagen gene that causes us to degrade collagen. Well, if that's operating at high speed, you're getting rid of the collagen just as fast as you're putting it in. So now we can actually reduce that by 33% by talking to the gene that breaks down collagen. So whatever collagen we have now will hang around a lot longer. That's awesome. Isn't that okay. amazing? So I want you to camp out there for just a minute okay. because in the Bible, Genesis 1, you know, God saw it, he said it, he spoke to it, uh, and it was good. It was created and it was good. He, he saw it in his, in his mind's eye, he said it, uh, he blessed it, and it manifested, it was good. So let's talk about the speaking to the genes, how so many of the, 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 the uh, supplements that we've talked about, which really just are helping the systems that are already in our body, how do we speak to them? How do they communicate? Okay, well, so if you turn on, you know, you can think of each of these signaling systems as a doorbell that rings a door and gets something going in okay. the body, right? 
But imagine if someone's pushing on all of the doorbells at the same time. You can imagine that that amplifies the effect. They all work with each other. In other words, they are synergistic. That's a big word also, which means to work in synergy, right? right. They help each other. Because, for example, to get rid of toxins from the body, that requires energy. What well, would make sense then that if the NRF1 signaling system is working and turning on the mitochondria and they make energy, now you've got the energy to do the work. Yeah. So they all help each other and you can amplify the effect of one another. So in fact, that's also true with collagen. Hmm. This collagen supplement actually helps to um, or decrease oxidative stress of its own. So imagine if you're taking NRF2 and reducing oxidative stress, you're gonna have huge reductions in oxidative stress. So that's the benefit. You really wanna use, it's like a system. Right. You don't wanna just do one by itself, you wanna do them together, if yeah. you can. I'm not saying right. everybody wants to or can do that, but. It's teamwork. It's best if it's done that way. You're, you um, were in the military, you were mm -hmm. a military doctor, right. you served our country, we thank you for that, we thank honor you, you for that. Uh, helped a lot of soldiers, went to a lot of countries, have uh -huh. a lot of great stories. And I know you've told me in the past how that really, you're, you, that really attributed to what you came back and, and mm -hmm. gave your, your whole life to and the legacy you've created. But it's almost like being in a foxhole. You know, if you've got four guys together and they work together, then they can get out alive. And if there's just one guy trying to do his own thing, right. Not only is he putting the other three in jeopardy, but the chances of him getting out alive uh, drastically decrease. Right. So it's just like these systems we've been talking about for them to work together really sets us up for success. Correct. And, and I'm not saying to use supplements in exclusion of medicines necessarily, yeah. because I use both. These are just one additional aspect in my toolkit to help people. Right. I have knowledge of medicines and I use medicines. Yes. I d don't not use medicines, right. I do. But it's having this knowledge and then being able to use it creatively after figuring out what someone's needs are, where they would best benefit. Because I'll tell you, the worst thing is to just take a whole box of supplements and not know what you're doing yeah. with it. You can get into a lot of trouble with Guilty. that too. Guilty. Yeah, it happens, you know? Yeah. And then people want to know why they don't feel good or they're sick. Well, they've overdosed on this or that because they had no direction because they heard it was good. Yeah. I think people in this day and age need some guidance as to what to choose for them. And, and this system that I'm talking about of doing these particular things are safe. They're not going to get into trouble. Yeah. They're not going to compete with any medicines that they're currently taking, yeah. but may in fact, after months of being on it, may allow them to come off of medicines that they were previously on for various conditions and may actually allow them to um, change their numbers so that when they see their primary care doctor, they say, what are you, and I've had that doing? happen. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, I'm doing this, this, and that. And it's like, well, where'd you get that information? And they'll say, oh, that's hogwash. That, that doesn't work. And yet they can't argue with the fact the that numbers. the person's numbers have improved yeah. because they're doing something. And that there is the problem that we have in medicine because a lot of times physicians are unwilling to look outside the box. Right. And you know, if you were to go and tell your physician that you had the answer to a particular problem and it was coming from the patient, he would just say, you just didn't know what you're talking about. Right. And he'd probably say, get lost. So you have to be careful, you have to work with your physician. Right. But knowledge is not bad. Right. It's good for you to know what you're doing, where you want to go, how you're being led. Yeah. And then you ask your physician to participate in that relationship to allow you to, you know, seek your improved health. Yeah. That's really good advice and a and a great way to you know, my Dr. G, my grandmother uh, you know, the, she grew up during the Depression. You know, she grew up where there was only one town doctor. Of course, there were no hospitals. She was born in a barn in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And so she, when we, when there would be things that ailed us, she would say, uh, go get, pick some garlic. Go, mm -hmm. go get an, go chop up uh, aloe. Uh, let's get, let's make a chicken soup Correct. with lots of oregano. They, they, they knew things they had to know things because they, they didn't have the availability to doctors, certainly not specialists, which made you know the average uh, life um, expectancy so much lower. So I so appreciate that you know they can, people can go on biohackersusa.com. They can get your book. Your book really uh, is a very simple uh, breakdown and analysis. It gives us tools. It, it makes you think differently. Mm -hmm. It makes you look at things differently. So. 
to the person watching today, uh, if, you know, help them understand the importance that God created these things, that he expects us to understand these things, and how they can truly, they can change generations, they can change ourselves, they can change our family, they can change the trajectory of our lives. Right, well, I, I think it's important to understand that first of all, and I say this again and again, is that God gave us the code that is integral in our bodies. Everything that made us who we are and how we're programmed to be came from that genetic code. We do not want to defile it by any means. And you can read between the lines what that means. Um, we don't want to hurt that genetic sequence. We don't want to hurt it also by the way that we treat our body, the way we treat our temple. We don't want to scratch this information off the disk so it's not readable. We want to bring it back to where it needs to be so that we can function and grow. Um, and I would just ask our audience to seek the Lord's guidance and wisdom. Uh, pray that they will um, experience um, this as not a fearful thing, but it's something that could help them and to allow them to heal. Um, I ask that they work in cooperation with their physician and don't exclude the advice that they're given, but to look deep in their heart as to what it is that they want to accomplish. And to know that all of medicines that were ever placed on this earth, in fact, were created from the earth, and were created from God's will, and they exist in plant form and in many, many different forms that were later then found to have helpful and beneficial properties. And then physicians, of course, gained the access to that. And Father, they know how to use those medicines. And if you find, Father, that you can guide people to find an integrative health specialist, someone who is willing to look into the idea that it isn't always pharmaceuticals that are the answer, mm -hmm. then Father, I think that you can help to guide these people to uh, relieve their maladies, relieve their suffering, and to overall improve the quality of their life. And I ask this to occur in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, this, this has been such a special time, Dr. G, and I know those uh, that are watching, there's many that say, look, I want strength, I want vitality. I, I now know things can be repaired and, mm -hmm. and replenished. And God created you. And we only have one body, just like we only have one life. And so we have done these programs because we want to give you resources. We want to give you help. Uh, you know, if you are interested in a liquid collagen supplement, you don't have one, please go to Dr. G's website, biohackerusa.com. Look, grab this book listen to teaching videos. Some of you might want to lead a life group or you might have a class at church or if you're a homeschool mom, you might want to start teaching this to your children. You heard us say today, at 20 years old, our collagen starts decreasing by 30. It, it has been drastically affected. We need to learn uh, these things, how our body's made and how we can make good nutritional choices, good supplement choices and good exercise choices, good intermittent fasting choices. There's just little things that can be done that make a huge difference. And so that is why we've done these programs because we want your home, your temple, uh, your bet. Uh, we want it to be whole and vivacious and thriving. That's what God wants for you because then your soul can be whole, your mental health can be whole, and, and your spiritual life can flourish. And so thank you for watching today. Thank you for being part of Come Home. I encourage you, if you love programs like these, would you pray about supporting CTN? Would you pray about supporting this program? We are supported by viewers and their kindness and generosity. We're so grateful to you and we wanna keep bringing you guests like Dr. Neil Goodman. So pray for him, pray for his wife, Dr. Peggy, their family their practice, the new thing God's doing in their life, their ministry. And uh, we're grateful for you. We pray for you. Let us know how you're getting better, how you're healing, how you're seeing God work in your lives. So cheers to Liquid Collagen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and lift up His countenance. We speak shalom. I'm Jen Mallon. Come home.